So when the disciples asked him what shall be the end of the world, we look up the word end, which the word end is suntelia, suntelia, which means completion, consummation, end. Because when an empire is complete, what happens? It becomes consumed. And what happens? The power and regions, lands and riches of that particular empire is translated or transferred to the next rulers that conquered that particular empire. And that's why when Yahweh Shai comes back, it says, I beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancient of days did sit. So all the thrones of the heathen nations being casted down, that's what Yahweh Shai is coming to do. He's coming to battle Esau and the other nations to take them down, to be set back up into power on the earth because his glory is already in the heavens. He already got his praise and his glory and his status, everything in the heavens. But as the Apostle Paul says in Hebrews 2, that we see not all things yet put under him because not everyone is acknowledging and praising and lauding and crediting the names of Yahweh Shai as being the Lord. They're calling them Jesus, Yeshua, Yehoshua, and all those other different names. Some of them are calling them Yeshaya, Isaiah, but they're not crediting him as Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High, a so-called black man, you know, coming to take power on the earth and to get the rest of his blessing and glorification on the earth. All of these empires are going to be transferred or translated over to Yahweh Shai and he's going to share it with us. Revelation 15 And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, when them is filled up the wrath of God. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy. For all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. And after that I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened, and the seven angels came out of the temple, having the seven plagues, clothed in pure and white linen, and having their breasts girded with golden girdles. And one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials, full of the wrath of God, who liveth for ever and ever. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power. And no man was able to enter into the temple, till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. And when the kingdom is established, all nations are going to flow to us to learn of the Lord's ways because of their magnificence that's going to be established you know that great honor that the Lord is going to bestow upon us once again our rightful position as the rightful rulers of the universe